Hi, for this video what I want to do is help you to find the sample mean, variance, and standard deviation of a frequency distribution using ClassCalc. ClassCalc is a free online graphing calculator and it's also an app for a smartphone that is free to download. So it's very useful in a statistics class if you don't want to spend a lot of money on a um, handheld graphing calculator. So in order to do this, the sample mean, if I were doing hand calculations, I would first have to take X times F, where X represents the midpoint of the class and F represents the frequency. After finding those products, I would then have to find the sum and divide by the number of terms um, in my sample. If you don't know the number of the terms, then you would have to find the sum of the frequencies. So n could also be listed as the sum of the frequencies. The sample variance is going to be found after you find the sample mean because then you have to take each of your x values, which again is the midpoint, minus the mean. Then you have to square those deviations. After you square those deviations, you have to multiply it by the frequency for each of your values. Then you have to find the sum of those products and divide it by the sample size minus one, um, since we are dealing with a sample. And the sample standard deviation is always the square root of the variance. So this formula is the same. You would just take the square root of your answer above. When you're using class calc, you can just use a table and then use a frequency list and just find these. These formulas are programmed into class calc so you don't have to do the hand calculations. So for this, what we first need to do is find the midpoint. The midpoint is the lower class limit plus the upper class limit divided by two. So for this first one, in order to find the midpoint, I would do 20 plus 24, which is 44, and then I would divide that by 2, which is going to give me 22. I could continue with that formula, or I can use the fact that these are always going to be equally spaced. So I could find my class width by doing 25 minus 20. And I can see that that is five. And if you notice, I counted by five every time. So I can do the same thing for the midpoint. So for my next value, I could add my five and it would be 27. And then my next one would be 32, 37, 42. And the last one would be 47. And I find this process a lot easier than having to use this formula um, six different times. You're going to get the same result if I would have done 25 plus 29 divided by 2. It's still going to give me 27. It's just a lot easier to use the class width. So once you have the midpoint, we're going to put these values into x1 in class calc, and we're going to put our frequency values into y1 in cal class calc. So let me go ahead and pull that up. And then I'm going to go in and I'm going to um, create a table. And in X1, I am going to put my midpoint, so the 22, 27, 32, 37, 42, and 47. And in my Y1, I'm going to put my frequencies. And that's all I have to do is I put the data in there. And then I need to tell class calc that I'm working with a frequency list. So I'm going to define a variable. It doesn't matter what you pick. I'm choosing A. And I'm going to say that A equals, and I'm going to go into stat and advanced and find a frequency list. So I'm gonna create a frequency list from my list up here. My L1 is going to be what is my first list. So that's my X1 value. That's going to be um, my midpoints. And then my second list is Y1, which represents the frequencies. And we can see that we have a total of 25 items. The 25 items is because if I were to add this up, I would have three plus six is nine, plus seven is 16, plus five is 21, 24, and then 25. So if I added up this column right here, the sum of my frequencies is my n, and that gives me a total of 25. So that's why there's 25 in this list. Basically what class calc has done is it's listed out the 22 three times, the 27 six times, etc. Okay, from there it's as simple as just saying, okay, I want to go to stat and I want to find the mean 
of that frequency list and it will automatically find the mean for me. I don't have to use the formula. If I go to stat and variance, then I can just type in a, the variance of A and then my last one, I would go to stat and the standard deviation. And I didn't look at this, so if you notice under variance, it gives us both answers. Remember that in statistics, it's very important to understand the difference between symbols. Sigma squared is population variance. S squared is the sample variance. Same thing here, sigma is the population and S is the sample. So it's really important that you read your questions carefully to know if you're trying to find um, your sample or your population. And in this case, I said that we were going to find the sample variance and the sample standard deviation. So we're going to use these values. So then all I would have to do is write them down. The sample mean, remember the symbol for the sample mean is X bar, um, ended up being 32.4. The sample variance, and these are all samples, the sample variance S squared is going to be 45.6 repeated, and I'm just going to draw a line above that. Um, your rounding just depends on where they tell you to round it to. And then the standard deviation is going to be S, and that one's going to be approximately 6.758. And again, just be really careful on reading the questions to know if you're looking for a population or if you're looking for a sample. The difference between the two is the population only divides by N, where the sample um, variance and standard deviation are found by dividing by N minus one. As always, thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please let me know. If there are additional topics that you would like me to cover, please let me know that as well.